Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today video is all about Lhasa Apso. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. History. The Lhasa Apso is a non-sporting, purebred dog originating in Tibet and has been used as an indoor guard dog. He's known in his homeland as Abso Sang Kai, which translate as Bark Lion Sentinel Dog. Lhasa Apso sent to China were used in the development of the Shih Tzu and Pekingese breeds. It was used as a watchdog in temples, monasteries and was considered sacred. The dogs were considered good luck to their owners. In 1933 the dog spread to other parts of the world through Sudam Cutting, who introduced the first Lhasa to the USA as gift from 13th Dalai Lama. Tibet's ruler presenting them to visiting foreign diplomats. Lhasa served as guards inside dwellings in Tibet, while Mastiffs served outside. The American Kennel Club officially accepted the breed in 1935 in the Terrier Group and in 1959 transferred to the non-sporting group. Pros. They are considered hypoallergenic, perfect for people with allergies. Small in size, perfect if you don't have a huge home. Suitable for apartment living, minimal shedding, robust, playful and deeply affectionate. They're long-lived and tend to be healthy dogs. They are excellent watchdog and guard dog. Cons. Stubborn, independent and not ideal for first-time owners. High grooming maintenance. Not the ideal dog for little kids and toddlers. They have high prey drive. They like to play, chase and run after small animals or pets. Barking tendency is very high and not suitable for outdoor living hard to train and doesn't do well with strangers. Is a Lhasa Apso a good family dog? Lhasa Apso is not recommended for families with children under the age of 12. While it is a great dog for adult and seniors, they are rather impatient breeds, and react quickly to teasing and the general clumsiness of younger children. They are also possessive of their food and toys. Lhasas are also quite wary of strangers, being great watchdogs with their sharp, loud alarm-like barks. Are Lhasa Apso dangerous? Lhasa Apso can be aggressive due to their guarding instincts. These guarding instincts can become aggression if the Apso not properly trained or socialized. When someone comes into their home, they can react negatively and will treat them an enemy. It's important not to force them to become friendly or hang around strangers if they are exhibiting signs of aggression. Do Lhasa Apsos bark a lot? Lhasa Apsos are natural sentinels and instinctively bark at any intruders. They don't bark frivolously and it will bark depends entirely on how many potential threats your dog perceives. If you live somewhere where there is little foot traffic, you may find your Apso to be very quiet. If you have lots of foot traffic passing by your home or apartment, you can expect your Apso to alert you to every passerby. Are Lhasa Apso good apartment dogs? Yes, their small size and low energy needs, they can be excellent apartment dogs. They are good at entertaining themselves by running around an apartment, and excel at fun training in a small environment. The tendency of Apso bark at intruders may make them as less appropriate as apartment dogs. If your apartment doesn't get much foot traffic, you may not have much problem. This breed is naturally protective, alert and friendly but Apsos are wary of strangers. Do Lhasa Apso dogs shed? Due to their long length of hair, Apsos don't shed hair the same way as other breed. Instead, they shed hair like humans slowly and continuously, as to keep their hygiene clean and risk of matting and tangling low. Many owners keep their Apsos clipped in a puppy cut to avoid daily grooming and brushing of their long hair. Are Lhasa Apso easy to train? Lhasa Apso is a challenge and tricky to train because they are independent dogs with stubborn streak. They also known to enjoy agility and obedience training, which provides excitement and mental stimulation for them. This breed is also known to be sensitive, so will not respond very well to raised voices. House training can be difficult, but crate training is recommended. However, it can be done with lots of positive reinforcement they can respond very well to treats, praise and food. How much exercise does a Lhasa Apso need? Ideally, Apsos need about 30 minutes of exercise per day. Your Lhasa will greatly appreciate a daily walk and play time with their favorite toys. Due to their small size, they don't need to be exercised vigorously, but they enjoy moderate exercise to maintain their physical health and mental well-being. What is the temperament of a Lhasa Apso? They are loyal and friendly to those close them, but these pups can be little bit apprehensive when meeting new people. 
Lhasa generally doesn't experience separation anxiety, unlike some other breed. You can be confident that your Lhasa will loyally watch over you and your family. Are Lhasa apps so high maintenance dog? When it comes to grooming, Lhasa is high maintenance dog breed. Its long coat can get tangled if not cared for properly. Lhasa matures slowly and remains puppyish until he's three years old. Do Lhasa Apso dog bite? Apso can be aggressive due to their guarding instincts and when they feel pushed or bullied, they can snap and bite. How often should you groom Lhasa Apso? Apso require frequent bathing and grooming. They can be bathed and groomed as frequently as once a week up to every six weeks depending on the length of coat. Frequent bathing is necessary to keep the Lhasa smelling sweet. Some owners opt to trim the coat short or trim the hair around the face. Brush your Lhasa teeth at least two or three times a week to remove tartar buildup and trim his nails once or twice a month. Apso grooming cost range from $160 to $480 with average cost being $320. Do Lhasa Apso smell? With such a long coat, it's very easy for this dog to adopt a smell that is less than pleasant. It is easy for this breed to take on a less than ideal scent when it's not regularly cared for and cleaned. Are Lhasa Apso playful? Lhasa Apso is well known for being very playful but calm and deliberate at the same time. How do Lhasa Apso show affection? Apso often show happiness by rubbing their head on their owners, running and rolling around, or sitting on their owners' feet. How much does the Lhasa Apso puppy cost? A Lhasa Apso puppy is likely to cost between $550 to $1,240 with average price being $950. Do Lhasa Apso get along with other dogs or cats? Most Lhasa Apso are not good with cats. However Apso can be good with cats if they are brought up together and their owners train them both to get along with each other. Apso will more or less get along with other family pets. How often should a Lhasa Apso visit the vet? The frequency of treatment and checkups will depend on the dog. Scheduled 6 monthly health check visits with your vet are important to ensure your Apso is healthy and happy throughout all life stages. Facts. Lhasa is highly independent and aim to please himself, not you. Lhasa is a boss, and he'll be your boss if you allow him to. It matures very slowly and don't expect too much very soon. Lhasa Coats needs a lot of grooming and expect to do a lot of work, or to pay a professional groomer. Dental care is important. Brush your Lhasa teeth regularly and have your veterinarian check his teeth and gums periodically. Lhasa is a naturally protective watchdog and early positive socialization is essential to help him become a friendly, sociable pet. It was believed that the souls of deceased lamas or priests could enter bodies of the Lhasa Apso while they awaited reincarnation into a new body. Appearance. Dark brown eyes, black nose, texture of the coat is heavy, straight, long, hard, neither woolly nor silky, and dense. They come in a wide variety of colors include black, white, red, brown, yellow and gold. The average height is 10 to 11 inches, male, and slightly smaller, female. The average weight is about 12 to 18 pounds. The average life expectancy of the dog is 12 to 15 years and the litter size is 4 to 6 puppies. The oldest documented Lhasa Apso lived for 29 years. Temperament. Confident, smart, comical, independent, affectionate, stubborn and bold. This dog ranks 126, out of 138, in Stanley Coren's The Intelligence of Dogs. Health. Lhasa Apso is prone to a few health problems but still a very healthy breed. Sebaceous adenitis, a hereditary skin disease. Progressive retinal atrophy, PRA, which can render them blind. They are also prone to eye disease, such as cherry eye and keratoconjunctivitis sicca, dry eye. Patellar luxation. The knee slips out of its socket, causing the dog to lose its balance. If you are seeking a 100% kid dog, then Lhasa is probably not a good choice. Lhasa Apso is a loving and caring dog. Life with these dog is an experience that is full of fun and joy. Have you had any experience with Lhasa Apso? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.